Hey there, today we're gonna to be having a look at another cool device from SwitchBot. This time it's their evaporative humidifier. What's really cool about this device is it can automatically be refilled using one of their robot vacuums. So I'm really impressed with the quality of this device. First thing about it is the way that it actually diffuses the water. The mesh that is used to diffuse the water actually has the water pumped up and then through the mesh. Secondly, there's three ways to add the water. You can either add it from to the tank within the unit or you can remove the tank and fill it up or you can use the SwitchBot S10 robot to automatically refill it. So the way this works, it effectively sucks the air in with this rotating fan. And once it's finished, it actually automatically dries the filter so that you don't get any bacteria or mold forming on the filter itself. It's a full part of the SwitchBot ecosystem, so works well with the SwitchBot Hub 2 and the other SwitchBot uh, components in the system. Uh, also works with things like Alexa, very quiet, um, 18 decibels of noise, it's got a special sleep mode, and the filter itself is completely machine washable. So having a look at our control panel, we've got the power button over here. We can then select between various modes, humidity, that means it'll be controlled via the humidity. Um, we can select whether it's on auto mode or sleep mode. We've got three or four different power settings for the fan over here. And we've got a sleep timer, so we can set it to run for a certain amount of time. And we've got a reset button over the top here, which is also used for pairing the device. One of my favorite things about this device is this little indicator light over here. It's a beautiful little device with the SwitchBot logo at the front here. It's green at the moment because it's got water in, but if the water ran low, that would change to red. Looking at the front of the unit with the cover off, you can see where the SwitchBot S10 robot can come along and top this up with water. This is the filter unit that disperses the water. As you can see, it lifts correctly right off the top there. And at the bottom there, you can see the water tray and the little pump that pumps the water up to the top and then distributes it down through that filter element. As you can see, the filter element can be taken off there and placed in your washing machine. When you place it back into the filter tray, just make sure that you press it in with the little circle going over the pump. You can then easily slide this unit back inside. Our water tank can be filled up. As you can see along the side there is a little magnet that slides up and down, which will tell the unit how much water is inside the tank. It's really easy to set up. You just open up the SwitchBot app, go along, press the plus button and add device. It will now connect via Bluetooth and it will find your humidifier. There we go. So you press on the humidifier button and it will start connecting. Press the pairing button and connect device. Now you enter your Wi-Fi name and password and now you can add it to a room. It asked me to do an upgrade for the firmware. So look at the device here in the app. You can see here that we have, it's measuring the filter runtime. So it shows us we've got four hours out of 240. We've got 61% humidity at the moment. Uh, we can go down here and we can switch between our different fan levels. We could also sleep, switch between sleep mode, humidity mode, or auto mode. Uh, if we turn the device off, you'll see it goes into this auto drying mode. And this is where it dries the filter out so that it doesn't get moldy or any issues like that. Now, if we go into our setting mode over here, you'll see that we can pair it up. I've currently got it paired up with a meter plus, but we could select any of the things. For example, the Hub 2, we could pair it with the Hub 2, just like that. So once I paired it with the Hub 2, I went into the Hub 2 settings, went into the settings over there, and then I went down here to the Matter setup, and we go to Matter Secondary Devices, and what I've done is I've actually added the evaporative humidifier inside using Matter to connect it to Home Assistant. So now when I go into Home Assistant, 
into my Matic connected devices. You can see here we've got a switch and this is allowing us now to turn the device on and off using Meta via Home Assistant. Now, this does only offer you an on off. You can't actually control the different speeds or modes, but at least we have on off control via Home Assistant. Anyway, that's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this edition and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.